afternoon, everyone. <clears throat> Good afternoon, teacher. Hi. Hi. Good afternoon, teacher. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. All right. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, coach. Hello, good evening. I'm sorry, good afternoon. Estoy en la noche, estoy en la noche. Regresenme, regresenme. <laughs> All right. Coach. Eh, Tell me. Voy a hacer una consulta. Mm -hmm. Porque este, este día quería pedir permiso si podría salir un poco antes de la hora. Uh, Creo que tengo unos compromisos que ir a resolver. Ok. No sé si habría uh, algún tipo de problema. Um, actually, um, the problem is that the attendance score is rated by, by the um, minutes that you are connected. So your percentage of attendance is going to go down, all right? It's going to go low. Mm -hmm. That is why. I, I can tell you, yes, it is okay. It is not a problem and you can catch up on later, right? But the problem is that you are not counting in your score of attendance, all right? So, mm -hmm. so it's, uh, we cannot give any permission, right, as teachers. Uh, but if you have this emergency, then you can mm, disconnect at the time that you need. But remember that you, don't, you must um, uh, connect to the whole classes, right? At, at least to get to the 80% of attendance, right? At the end of the day. All right, all right. Okay, everyone. Are you ready for today's class? Yes. Okay. Yes, I am ready. Okay, yes. good, good, good. So we are going to work today. Uh, we have two topics. We have the syllable stress and we have numbers and ages, right? Also, we uh, three topics and we have the WH question um, with the to be verb, right? So we have to cover all that material today because tomorrow we will have the midterm test Right, and also we are going to make a review of all the topics, all right? So the first thing we are going to do is to introduce the, cl the class and just give me one second because my, my computer was, um, I think she got a call maybe because <laughs> it got frozen. So just give me one second. That is why I came in one on one. All right. So, okay. Here we are. So, we have the syllable stress. And let's go to your student books. All right. To your student books. There, you are going to find this topic. Right. There are simple rules, right, of stressing the syllables or for the syllable stress. But we want just to notice this because we want to make a kind of difference, right, between the, between the stress in a word. Because we have main stress and we have other or secondary stress in the, um, in the words. Thing is that stress is really important in English. Intonation is really important in English because 
some words may have a different stress and they sound, I mean, the meaning is different. So this is the importance. There is no other way more than saying the word, right? More than saying the word. Even though we have one syllable words, two syllable words, three syllable words, all right? Uh, in English, uh, we need to practice. We need to practice saying the word, all right? There is this phonetic alphabet that help us to visualize the stress and what syllable it goes. But in Spanish is easier because we have tilde and we know where is the stress because it's uh, and we could say um, written, written, right? Está escrito el acento en las palabras, pero en inglés no, okay, no tenemos tilde. We don't have tilde. But there are some, um, we could say common, common rules that we have one syllable word, two syllable words, and three syllable words. But we have to practice them saying, saying the word, hearing the word, imitating the word, right? Uh, to learn where the stress goes, right? Where the stress goes. And let's go to our manuals. Let's go to our manuals. There we have some words that we learned yesterday. Uh, let me share the screen with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the best way to learn this is repeating, saying the word, all right? If you go to a dictionary to be sure where the, the stress goes, that's okay too. And it's the best way to learn it, all right? So the first here, right? The first uh, two words we have here, the stress goes in the first syllable, right? So China, China, China. 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 We don't say China, right? We say China. China. Turkey. 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 But we have two syllable words like this ones, right? So Japan. 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 All right. Brazil. 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 Right. Brazil. Uh -huh. So we have three syllable words like Canada, right? Canada. Canada. Mexico. 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 We have other words with three syllables and the stress is in the middle syllable, right? Morocco, 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 right? Morocco, mm -hmm. right? Como Loroco, right? <laughs> uh -huh. Like Loroco. Mm. I'm thinking about pupusas now, so. Uh, I can help it. All right. Malasha. 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 Uh, even though here, uh, well, in the Spanish is Malasha, but here is Malasha. Malay, like this, eh? Malay. Yeah, Malay. Right. Malaysia. 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 All right. Malaysia. So we have these words, right? We know these other words, right? Do we know where the stress goes? So let's think about 
English. 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 What syllable English. takes the stress? In. In. Uh -huh. The first syllable, right? All right. English. Uh -huh. Spanish. 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 Mm -hmm. Spanish. First Spanish. syllable, right? Spanish. Spanish. Two syllables. Two syllables, and the stress goes in the first syllable, right? Mm -hmm. Arabic. 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 Mm -hmm. Arabic. And the first one, right? Mm -hmm. Kore Korean. 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 So where it goes and rain, right? Rain. 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 Mexican. Mexican. Honduras. 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 It's the same in the Spanish, right? In the Spanish, we don't say Honduras. We don't say Honduras. We say Honduras, right? So Honduras. It's, Honduras. Yeah, it takes the same stress, right? As the original language. Chinese. Uh, Chinese. 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 Here we have only two Chinese. syllables also, even if you see this as E, but it doesn't sound, right? This doesn't sound and it counts as one syllable, right? So Chai is one, knees is second, right? So Chinese. Mm -hmm. Chinese. What about this other one? Peru. 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 Right? Peru, Peru, Peru. Mm -hmm. We know these words. We know these words. What about the numbers? What about the numbers? What do you think about the numbers? Do you know where the stress goes? Mm -hmm. Do you know where the stress goes and the numbers? I want to hear you guys when you say, when you say this, all right? Here we've got numbers and ages, numbers and ages, all right? Numbers and ages. Esto significa números y edades, numbers and ages. All right, we are going to see from 11 to 103, all right? So let's remember after 11. 10, mm -hmm, after 10 goes 11. 11. 11, right? Esta E, esta E, esta E suena eh, como, así como uh, 11, right? Casi que ni sonaría, pero es 11. No vamos a decir 11, no. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. All right, 12. 12. All right, 12. so let's 12. look at the pronunciation 12. of 13. Th thir 13. Th uh, like this. Miren, uh -huh. your tongue has 13. to go between the top, uh, between the teeth. 13. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Digan zapato como españoles. Zapato. Zapato. Saquen el aire como un español. Vamos a ver. Zapato. Zapato. Ajá. No como migueleños, no como de Usulután, no como de Morazán, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir como españoles, que suene. Zapato. Todavía no se oye ese. Zapato. 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 Es que saben cómo se les oye. Se les oye así, miren. Zapato. 
Zapatos. Ja, ja, no. Es entre los dientes, así entre dándole una fuertecita, porque es un, un eh, sonido Zapato. muy importante en inglés. Miren, así. Es con este zapato. sonido. Ajá, con, exacto. Con este sonido se dice something. Miren, exacto. something. Something. Ajá. Something. Miren, con eso se dice Think. Think. Con think. ese sonido se dice think. 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 Pensar. Think. 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 Cosa. Think. Something. Algo. Pero no vamos a Something. hacer ahí. Cometemos el error muchas veces de pronunciarlo como una S. Pero no es así. Miren, la cuestión es aprenderlo bien bonito desde el principio, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos. TH sounds like... Ok, sacamos aire, ponemos la lengua entre los dientes, miren, así ve, eh, lengua entre los dientes, medio mordida, medio mordida, ¿ve? no le vaya a doler, medio, <risa> y sacamos <risa> aire. Sí. Ok, eso les queda de tarea toda esta tarde, andar haciéndole así. Miren, cuando yo aprendí a tocar la flauta transversal. Este, y, y andaba, me dijeron, bueno, ok, la primera clase andar solo con la boquilla. Y me decían, tienes que soplar así. Y así, ¿verdad? Entonces teníamos que hacer ese ejercicio. Saben que hasta lo caliente, el café y todo, yo lo soplaba igual <risa> para aprender el, el, la forma, ¿verdad? A por ustedes también. Toda la tarde ustedes van a estar con esta Z, ¿ok? Con este th sound, ¿all right? Sound. All right. So we need this sound to say the uh, the words like three, thirteen, thirty. All right. We need that to differentiate the sound mm -hmm. from other words. All right. Because if I say tortín, mm, it doesn't sound good, right? Is uh, if I say thirty, mm, tampoco, verdad? Right? So it's going sure. to sound good if we say th, th, 13. 13. Okay, where, where the syllable stress go? Where? Ah, it goes, it goes in the last Ten. syllable, right? In the last syllable. All right, so it is 13. Th -er -teen, right? 13. Th -er a ver, todos digamos 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. Close, okay. You, uh, we don't say more close. We say closer. All right, closer to the uh, real sound. All right. So fourteen. L the stress. 14. The stress goes. 14. In the 14. 14. 14. 14. Mm -hmm. 14. Okay, fourteen. Ahora 14. veamos el otro sonido con fifth. Miren, fifth. Fifteen. Ajá, este es como que hiciéramos así, miren, como que hiciéramos casi que dos Fs. Right? Teen. Abrimos teen. Todos los teen. Vamos a empezar desde 13 y lo vamos a decir hasta 19. Alright? Vamos a ver. 13. 13 14 14 right now we've got it Uh, this is the important thing, where the stress goes to differentiate, right? To make the difference between the two words. We have 30 in the first syllable. Look, for, like this, th 30, look, 30. 30. 
Vale, ahora ustedes en este caso van, vamos a ver, vamos a ver desde 17 y luego 70, right? Vamos a ver. Quiero escucharlos a ustedes solitos. 17 Now we are going to think about how old, how old are your family members first, all right? Your family members first. So let me show you a slide. I will stop sharing this way and let me go right here. Our family members, right? A ver, para comenzar, can you name your family members or any family members that you know? A ver, ¿cómo son, cómo se llaman los miembros de la familia? Vamos a ver, los que ustedes ya se sepan. No, sí. Mom, Brand, mom, dad, mom, sister, uncle, brother, grandmother, grandson, grandfather, son, cousin, daughter, grandmother, mother in law. All right, mother in law. Uh huh. Sister -in -law, it must be, it must be, it must be a really good member in your family, right? That is why you recall it. <laughs> Ajá, ha de ser un excelente miembro de su familia, your mother-in-law, por eso se acordó, right? Digamos, right? Okay. Ajá. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they have that bad fame. I no, no sé por qué tienen esa mala fama. All right. Okay, numbers and ages, right? The question, ah, I didn't change this, is how old is or how old are, all right? So the family members I'm going to show you are this ones, all right? These are basic. These are basic. All right, here we go. So we have Mom. mother, mother, right? Mother. Mm -hmm. Un niño pequeño puede decirle mommy, right? Mommy. And un niño ya más grandecito y todos los demás le podemos decir mom, ¿verdad? Como de cariño. Uh -huh. Mom. Uh -huh. My mom, your mom, his mom, her mom, their mom, all right? Our mom, all right? Our mom. Dad, 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 dad. The father. formal, the formal uh, noun to call our father is father. All right. Father. 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 Mm -hmm. No decimos feather porque feather es pluma. ¿verdad? Es otra cosa. Father. Pa. Father. Father. Mm -hmm. father. father. Son. 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 Hijo. Hijo. Right. Mm -hmm. Con hijo. No. Con hijo podemos usar adjectives. Los vamos a ver eh, quizás otro momento y el día de mañana, all right? Daughter, daughter. Podemos usar adjetivos como little daughter, younger daughter, oldest daughter, right? So, and, lo mismo con son, aunt. Esta suena casi como hormiga, ¿ok? Hormiga se dice aunt. Las dos casi que suenan igual, ¿verdad? 
Entonces vamos a decir, se parecen, se parecen. Pero en el contexto vamos a saber que es aunt, right? Aunt. Aunt es tía. Ok, this is my mom or my dad's sister. All right. My aunt is my mom or my dad's sisters. Then uncle, uncle. Who's um, my uncle? Who's my uncle? Uh, uncle is my yeah. mom or my dad's brother. Brother. Right? Mm -hmm. My mom or my mom brothers. Right? Mm -hmm. My mom or my dad brothers. Uh, could be in plural uncles. In plural aunt aunts. Right? So let's look at the number seven. Cousin. 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 Mm -hmm. Cousin. Cousin is female or male. It's the same word. All right? We say... Uh, this is my cousin, and we don't know if it is a woman uh, or if it is a man. So we use the same word for both. We want to make the difference saying the name or she is my cousin or he is my cousin. Then you understand the gender, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Niece. Niece. Yes. Uh -huh. Niece. Niece. Is yes. uh -huh. niece is my aunt's daughter. Okay, niece is my aunt or my and my uncle's daughter. All right, niece, sobrina. All right, nephew, nephew. Do you know nephew? Sobrina. Yeah. Sobrina. All right. Can you say the relation here? For example, nephew is mm -hmm, my Just, aunt or my um, uncle's son. son. Son, yeah, all oh. right, son. All right, grandmother, grandmother. All right, grandmother. Who's my grandmother? grandmother. Yeah, but who is my grandmother? The mom of my mom. Yeah, you're right, good. Very good, Geraldina. All right. My grandmother is my mom's my mom. or my dad's mother. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. And I see the cariñito. I can call her grandma. All right. Grandma. Pero todavía más cute, a, a very cute name to call my grandma will be granny. My granny. I love my granny. Right. So my granny. Uh, let's look at grandfather. Who's my grandfather? Who is my father. grandfather? Father of my father. father. Father of my mother or the father of my dad. Hey, excellent. Very good. And a cute name to call my grandfather is grandpa. All right, grandpa. We don't say, we usually don't say the other word like granddaddy, all right? Because that's another thing, right? If you look it up, then you are going to know what is that, all right? Mm -hmm. um, si le podemos decir granddad, all right? Si le podemos decir acá granddad, pero no granddaddy, all right? ¿Por qué no granddaddy? You have to look it up, all right? Ustedes lo buscan. Okay, then there are other words to call son and daughter together, all right? Para referirme a hijos e hijas, okay? Yo puedo decir, these are my children, right? Or these are my kids. That involves mm, female and male, right? Female, woman. Male, men okay masculino y femenino right male masculino female feminine all right so female daughter Fe uh, male son right and together male and female we say children or kids right yeah. children or kids teacher if i am the mom right uh, tell me tell me daniela tell me uh, in the case when it comes to a brother or a sister, if you have both, can be siblings too. Correct. There you are. Thank you, Daniela. So we have to, uh, that's what I was going to ask. If you know, if you know more family members, 
more family members. So we have brother. Mm -hmm. Or sister. All right, sister. Oh, what is that? I'm sorry, sister. Okay, brother and sister. Brother, male. Sister, female, right? Who is my brother? Who is my brother? Ahora, con las familias que son bastante eh, mezcladas, ¿verdad? Es toda una novela definir quién es mi hermano, ¿verdad? Uh, porque algunos son solo de crianza. Pero, ok, bien. Quedémonos con que brother is male and sister is female, all right? And both together, together, if I refer to all my brothers and sisters, we call them siblings, all right? Like this, siblings, all right? Uh, that's the word to say both, brothers and sisters. All right, now, how old is your mom? How old is your mom? My mom is 67. All right. All right, my mom is 57. Esto lo podemos decir también, Norma's mom is 57. All right, there you are. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's remember, this is a possessive noun, right? A possessive noun, all right. Everybody writing in your in the chat, how old is your mom? All right. How old is your mom? All right, 40 years old, uh -huh. 57, she is 57, very good. Excellent. Now, um, ahora vamos a decir how many brothers or how many sisters we have, all right? Esa es otra, otra pregunta que vamos a ir aprendiendo, okay? Ajá. Uh -huh. Do you have brothers and sisters? Yes, I have yes. one sister. Oh, yes, I do. All right. How many? How many one brothers? Sister. How many sisters? I have Three one sister. brother and two sisters. Entonces vamos a poner, I have, I have, uh -huh, I have two brothers and three sisters. Ah, somos un montón, right? Mm -hmm. It's a very crowded house, crowded house. <laughs> All right, I have one brother, excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. How old is your brother? How old is your brother? In este caso, los que tienen más, how old are your brothers? How old are your brothers? My brother is uh -huh, 25 years old. Very good. My sister is 22 years old. My sister is 27 years old. All right. Tell me. In the case that we have more than one, how can we say, like, the middle one, the little one. Oh, excellent. Very good. Uh -huh. We have the first one. Yeah. The first one is the oldest, right? The first one is the oldest, like this. The oldest. Mm -hmm. Then we have the middle. Yeah. 
the middle brother. Mm -hmm. And the youngest, right? And the youngest. And the youngest, right? The youngest, the oldest, and the middle, all right? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa última, teacher? Youngest, youngest. Mm -hmm. Youngest. Youngest. Mm -hmm. El más chiquito, el más jovencito, el más bichito. El último, right? The last, the last one, right? My sister is 26. My other sister is 30 and my other sister is 20. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. All right. Bien. I will stop sharing at this moment, all right? Okay, now we are going to Google, to Google, some ages from different people, all right? From different people. So how old, you are going to Google it, Google it, all right? How old is Donald Trump? How old is Donald Trump? <clears throat> all right, how old is Donald Trump? Google it. Uh huh. I didn't think that he was so old. Oh, but he is. <laughs> he is. <laughs> 77. All right. So he is 77. No, 76. All right. Uh, but he's over, right? So now, how old is Joe Biden? How old is Joe Biden? 79. 79, all right, mm -hmm. 79, right, very good, mm -hmm. very good, mm -hmm. okay, now, there we have something very interesting, how old is, oh, I'm sorry, in the book, we have one conversation, all right, how old is Talia? How old is Talia? Fifty one years old. Is she? Yeah. All right. Uh huh. Okay. But look. Imagine that you don't know the age. For example, we are going to guess how do you, uh, how age you look like, all right? How, uh, I mean, yeah, how old you look like. So, for example, we could say how, uh, les voy a preguntar a todos de uno de ustedes, all right? So, please, your videos here. Mm -hmm. How old is... Abigail, Eunice Abigail. Ajá, uh -huh. everybody, vamos a decir, I think, all right? I think she is, mm -hmm. I think she is 18 years old. 18, oh, you look so young, Abigail, you see, ajá, uh -huh. all right. Any other guess? I think she's 19. All right, uh -huh. a ver. I think 
20 years old. All right. I think she is, right? I think she is 20 years old. All right. Mm -hmm. I think she is 18. 18. All right. I think she's 18. Very good. So now, Abigail, how old are you? Tell them. I am how I am 28 years old. Oh my <laughs> guys, 10 years youngest. Uh, of Thank the age of Yay. Thank you very, much. very good, very good. So now let's think about how old is Carlos Castro? How old is Carlos Castro? Show your face over here to see you, Carlos. All right, get, I closer, think get closer to is count. Three years old. Uh, uh huh. I, I think he's 30 years old. 30, all right, all right. There we, uh huh. Another guess? I think. I think she, she 25. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. All right. Any other guess? I think. Uh huh. I think he is twenty-five. 25. Years. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh huh. Daniela, how old do you think he is? I think he's twenty-seven. All Maybe. right, Carlos, tell us, how old are you? Carlos, how old are uh, you? Uh, I am. So I am 25. Right. Hey, who got it? Daniela said 25, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. So you have a good guess. Very good. Very good. Denise, did you say 25 too? Yes. <laughs> All right. Very good. So you have a good eye. You have a good eye. All right, guys. So now we are going to go online to um, practice a little bit, right, with numbers. We want to listen and check, all right? Okay, I will send you the link and in this link you are going to try from 13 to 90, all right? From 13 to 90, you click on 13 to 90, all right? I will send this link over here. Mm. Okay. Same thing as always, guys. I'm going to guess. Yes. All right. Here it is. You listen to the number and you click. But right now, click on 13 to 90. That's the quiz. That's the quiz. All right. It's quiz number two. I think it is right. Oh, it doesn't have a number. It doesn't have a number. Donde está? Del 13 al 90. From 13 to 90. 13 a 90. All right?
¿Ya todos están ahí? ¿Ya todos lo están haciendo? Yes. All right. Yes, teacher. All right. 13 to 90. 13 to 90. Y lo voy a poner. 20. Oh, really, Carlos? You may you may start over. You may start over. Uh, it's a quiz. It's a quiz. So they say an amount and then you click on the amount. All right, Carlos? Carlos Eduardo? Okay, okay. All right. Okay. So you have to go to the site to do the quiz. Ah, um, no tengo el link. Ah, okay. I will send it again. There you are. Okay, Did thanks. You? All right. Mm -hmm. Teacher, tell me. We we're gonna share the results in the WhatsApp group, or? Yes, yes. It's good to um to send the backup. Yes. Mm -hmm. To see that you are working, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh huh. What happened? Who had a problem? Oh, with your computer. Oh, it was Eduardo, right? All right. Okay. Nice. One wrong. Which one was it? The 30. All right. Uh -huh. Okay. 
there you are. Yes, there you see that sometimes the stress changes the position, right? When you have more words together, so it changes and there is a main stress and there is a secondary stress. So we have to um, uh, sharp our ear, right? Sharp our ear. Mm -hmm. Option B. What happened with option B? Mm -hmm. Y les cuento que los sortea, o sea, eh, eh, después cuando lo vuelven a tomar, eh, probablemente no les caiga en el mismo orden, all right? So maybe Daniela is uh, following an order and Isaura is following another order. Eh, teacher, right. eh, mm -hmm. yo tengo un problema ya que no me deja escucharlo. Uh, really? Uh, maybe because you are connected on Zoom, right? Mm -hmm. That is why. Oh, you can do you can do it later, Edwin. You can do it later if you want. All right. Okay. Entonces, más tarde le, le estaría mandando la captura. Yes. All right. All right. No problem. No problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Did everybody finish? Yes, teacher. All right. Was it easy? Wait, teacher. All right. Was it easy or was it difficult? Estaba difícil o estaba fácil? Yes, it's very easy. Easy, right? Easy. Because now we know the stress of each number, right? We know how to say each number. So now, guys, we want to practice just a little bit this, um, these questions. Remember that we have two kind of questions of B, okay? Uh, with the verb to be. Mm, y tenemos algunos algunos eh, algunas palabras que son eh, con WH. Ayer estábamos hablando un poquito de ellas, ¿sí? Pero lo mejor para que uno aprenda a hablar inglés eh, es aprender la frase completa, ¿ok? Not word by word. Pero sí es importante saber para nosotros cuando nos preguntan what, cuando nos preguntan where, cuando nos preguntan how or who or why. All right. Hasta este momento, ok, hasta este momento hemos visto algunas preguntas. We have seen some questions, but we want to see one that we haven't seen. All right. Uh, I want you to take a picture from, I mean, get a picture from your cell phone, all right? Get a picture from your cell phone. Everybody, get a picture from your cell phone. From anyone of uh, your family or, but with one person only, with only one person, all right? So go to your gallery, choose one picture, all right? Hmm. Then, do you have the picture ready? Okay, I will show you my picture, right? And let's imagine we are watching the pictures, right? And then you find this one. Oh, this is a video, all right? Ha, uh -huh, but there is another person over there. Who's her, right? Then we want to ask, Y queremos preguntar, one second, who's that, all right, who's that, I will write it right here on the chat, who's that, all right, y yo les, yo les respondo, mm -hmm. she is, my daughter, all right, she's my daughter. I can tell her name, but you can ask me, what's her name, right? Y empezamos a platicar de esa persona, what's her name, right? Then we say, her name is Kiara, all right, there you are. 
Her name is Kiara. E, and we are very curious, right? And we want to say, how old is she, right? How old is she? Mm, all right, how old is she? Mm -hmm. She is, and I will say five years old. All right, now it's your turn. Now is your turn, guys. A ver, ¿quién me muestra una foto? Y vamos a hacer exactamente esas preguntas, all right? Uh -huh. Show me a picture. Ah, si usted está en el celular, obviamente no me lo va a poder enseñar. All right. Sí, eso le iba a preguntar. You're ya right. Estoy en send it, en este send it to the WhatsApp. All right, Isaura. Uh, who's that? Everybody, let's ask her. All right. Who is that? Mm -hmm. Who's who's that? Who's that? Mm -hmm. A ver, Isaura. He is that? my son. All right. He, he is looks, my son. He looks cute. What's his name? What's his name? Excellent, Edwin. There you are. Mm -hmm. What's his name? His name is Salomon. Okay. How old is he? <laughs> What's what old is he? How old is he? He is, he is 10 years old. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's look at, did you send any picture, Edwin? Did you send a picture to the WhatsApp? Uh, no. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, someone, uh, I mean, anyone wants to show me? Show us a picture. Show us a picture. Muestrenos una foto. ¿Quién quiere mostrar su foto? Al WhatsApp. Ah, pero estoy viendo que me mandó una foto de... Ah, okay. All right. All right. Here we have one. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? His sister. Uh huh. Is your brother? No, no, this is no. not mine. This is from Geraldina, all right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Sí, uh -huh. ah, no. Is brother? Uh, no, no, Norma, no, Norma. Let's ask uh -huh. Geraldina. Geraldina, who's that? Geraldina, who's that? Ah. Okay. Uh, he is my son, one of my son. Uh -huh. What's your name? What's his? Because his name it, is uh -huh. Alejandro. What's his name? All right, his, his name, name is Alessandro. Oh, how, how old is he? Is he? Is how old is eight, he? He is eight years old. All right, very good. Very Thank good. Excuse me? I send the pictures in the group. Did you? All right, all right. Let's look at this picture. Yes, it's my picture. Do you know this, guys? Aha! This handsome man is Edwin, right? All right. Aha. ¿Cómo le preguntamos? Edwin, who's that? Right? A ver, preguntémosle. Edwin, who's that? Edwin, who's that? He is mm -hmm. my cousin. All right. What, uh -huh. What's your name? What's his name? His name is Alessandro. <gasps> really? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. How old is he? Is he? He is. He is How old old. is he? Excellent. He is, mm -hmm. he is 18 years old. 
All right, very good, very good. Now, another picture. Let's look at another picture. Teacher, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the case that we have two persons in the photo? Uh, two people. Um, mm -hmm. Let's, uh, we can say who are those, all right? Who are those? Remember, uh, we use these and that for singular, for only one. And for two and more, these and those, all right? These and those. Mm -hmm. So now let's look at this picture. Who's that? She is my mom. Mm -hmm. What's her name? What is what her name? name? Uh, she's name is Isabel. <laughs> Ahí puede usted responder oh, de dos maneras. Puede decir, uh, she is Isabel o her name is Isabel. Ah, okay. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you. A ver, digamos lo de regreso, Unice. Her name is... Her name is Isabel. All right. Continue, guys. How old is she? She's uh, fifteen, uh, seven years old. All right. She doesn't look like as a fifty-seven woman. She looks younger. Yeah, she <laughs> looks you. younger. All right. So that's from uh, uh, um, from family, right? It's after your family. Excellent. All right, guys. All right, guys. Uh, did you send another one? Did you send another one? Jonathan. Jonathan, a ver, Jonathan, show your pictures. I sent it to the group. Did you send it? Oh, all right, all right, all right. This is the last one, all right? Mm -hmm. what? Who is that? Who's that? Who is that, Jonathan? This is my girlfriend. Oh. She looks pretty. What's her name? What's her name? Her name is Diana. How old is she? She's 23 years old, like me. Excellent. <laughs> really. Very good. Uh -huh. Very nice. So, and when we are curious, we can ask, where is she from, right? Where is she from? Uh, we can ask more questions as we know now, okay? De las que ya sabemos, ya podemos preguntarle, podemos mantener una conversación de unos tres minutos, ¿verdad? Sí, ya podemos. All right. Usando solo el verbo to be, all right? Entonces, por favor, continúen eh, trabajando en la, eh, uh, perdón, en la plataforma. Es necesario que continúen trabajando. Acuérdense que mañana es el día que se revisa, ¿verdad? Y que ustedes tienen que entregar, ¿verdad? La, o haberlas subido, todas las eh, tareas, ¿ok? O, o los knowledge checks. Los vamos, va, mañana vamos a hacer acá eh, revisión del eh, midterm test, ¿all right? Del midterm test, el parcial, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, espero que todos hayan comprendido el día de hoy. And if you have any question, let me know through the WhatsApp group and I, I will be glad to assist you with any uh, that you have, all right? Any that you have. All right, people, so time is over. Allow me to call the roll, all right? So remember that requirement is. Teacher. Uh -huh. Hasta que sección tenemos que haber terminado mañana. Section three. Tres y cuatro, solo tres. Uh -huh. Only three. three. Only three. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. It's almost done. All right, guys. Remember, you have to turn your cameras on and say present when I call your name. Oh, it's two or six now. Six minutes after two, guys. Mm -hmm. 
still loading. I'm sorry, guys. Abrí la que no era. La tenía lista, fíjense, y según yo era la de este grupo y no era esa. Permítanme un momento, que está todavía cargada. Disculpen. ¿Saben qué? Voy a necesitar así, este. Uh, porque todavía está cargando y cargando. Bien. Tomamos una captura de pantalla. Exactamente, pero como necesitamos que usted lo diga, vamos a ver, voy a decir sus nombres desde acá, ¿ok? Para que quede registrado. Isaura Evelia Vázquez de Ponce. Merin Daniela Carranza Valencia, Carlos, Carlos Eduardo Argumedo, Present. Carlos Castro, Present. Eh, Present. Blanca Benavides, Eunice Present. Rodríguez, Geraldina Present. Martínez, Present. Edwin Hércules, Mariana Present. Monterrosa, Present. Jonathan Aguilera, Present. Norma Lizano, Present. Eh, Marvin Aguiluz, Present. Cristina Ortiz. Present. Néstor Arnoldo. Present. All right. Thank you very much, guys. All right. Time is over. So see you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Bye. See you tomorrow, Bye. teacher. Bye. Bye, tomorrow. teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.